and welcome to another episode of This is Australia. And you wouldn't believe where we are. We are in an island called Corfu and it's in the Mediterranean Sea. Now, we're Australians and we all love to travel. So what we thought is, let's bring some stories from some places around the world, like Corfu. But we have also have traveled to uh, USA, like Los Angeles, New York, also in Europe, and many other places around the world. So for the next episodes, we're gonna bring you some great stories from all around the, the planet. Let's start with Corfu now. Now Corfu, it's just an island, just between Greece and Italy, but it's the center of many civilizations because Corfu has been ruled by the Greek Empire, the ancient Greeks, the ancient Romans, the British, then the French, and the Venetians. So around us, you can see all the influence from all these civilizations. And I just give you one example. Now behind me, it's what we call the old fortress. Now we call this old because it's a newer as well. Could you believe that the new fortress, it's 500 years old? For the Corfiots, that's very new. <laughs> this one here, it's the old one, and this is 1500 years old. Now have a look at the pictures of the old one. It doesn't look old to me, does it? I don't think it looks old to you either. Anyway, we're going to have a look also at the ancient city of Corfu that started in uh, two th uh, 700 BC, 730 BC, something like that. But before we start with Corfu, let's go to Los Angeles. Now we traveled to the dream city, the city that every one that wants to become famous wants to be. And we've seen many great stories coming from LA, but there's some other ones not as good, some sad stories as well. But let's go to the center of Los Angeles, and that's Beverly Hills. Let's go and have a look. Only a few minutes drive from Hollywood, the city of Beverly Hills offers all the glamour anyone could hope for. Less than six square miles in size, Beverly Hills is a neighborhood of homes and shops, superb dining options, scores of boutiques, from the best clothing brands all year round, priceless car shows, art festivals, and outdoor movies are just a few things that make Beverly Hills a prime destination. Rodeo Drive is probably the wealthiest and most famous shopping district in the world. Here, some of the clothing stores require customers to make advanced reservations to shop, and shoppers may routinely spend $100,000 US dollars or more in a single visit to a boutique. All the world's famous top fashion brands are here, competing against each other to showcase the most glamorous display. Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Tiffany's, Emporio Armani, Prada, Dior, Cartier, Chanel, Dolce Gabbana, and many more fashion names belong on this famous street. Although it's popularity, you can still get two hours undercover parking for free. The multi-million dollar homes and grand mansions of many movie stars and TV personalities line the many streets of Beverly Hills. They have miles of manicured green lawns and towering trees giving privacy to the owners. Also, many movies have been filmed here, including Beverly Hills Cop, Pretty Woman, Clueless, When Giants Collide, and many more. Even the Civic Center is a gorgeous mission-style landmark. As for some of the shopping centers, they certainly make their statement with the most peculiar designs. So all you travelers out there, be sure to add Los Angeles and especially Beverly Hills to your bucket list. When you walk around Beverly Hills, and especially around Rodeo Drive, now Rodeo Drive is not what you think. You won't see any Rodeos over here. Maybe you see some big cars, like these ones that you see now on your screens, and you'll see a lot of nice cars as well.
But for me, what was impressive was all the senses of the aromas coming from everywhere. Now, it could have been some beautiful food cooked, or it could have been the shop that sell cheese. Now, I went in there and had a look. Have a look at this, it's incredible. Most of this cheese come from all around the world, but a lot of it comes from France and also locally from USA. But that cheese, it was incredible. And such a huge variety. The whole shop was just full of cheese and that's it. And then you just walk down the road and you can't help yourself, but you can sense all these beautiful aromas for perfumes coming out of a store. And you go in there and you talk to the owner there and you find that every single perfume there, it could be anything from $500 up to $5,000. We asked the owner that it happens to be from Persia, Iran, and we asked him which one was his favorite. Well, you wouldn't believe it, but there's actually a perfume that is worth around about $5,000. It's a bottle about that big and it has the sense of opium. And while we were there, a man just walks into the shop and he just buys his favorite one, which it had the sense of marijuana. <laughs> yes, he paid two and a half thousand dollars, American dollars, for a bottle that big for an aroma with the sense of marijuana. <laughs> so behind me, it's the old fortress. Now that was built mostly by the Venetians, but the Corfield started moving there around about the 5th century AD, 1500 years ago. The Venetians finished it. But here in front of me, I can see what we call today the palace. But that was built about 200 years ago while Corfu was under the rule of the British. The British were here for 50 years. And during those years, they built a lot of monuments. And that's one of them. That was the private house of Governor Maitland. But let's go back to LA now. Now, I do love these Americans. They want to be different. For example, in uh, Australia or around the world, I think we just, you know, the bank check, it's spelled like this, you can see now on your screens, right? With a Q U E, which is a French word. Now, how do they spell it? Check. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but check means I'm checking for something. And when I saw that on that particular picture you can see now, I thought, what am I checking out <laughs> in that coffee shop? Now, uh, we're going to the coffee shop in America a little bit further down the truck. But let's have a look at this other amazing word, and that is LB. LB is for Libra. LB. Now, you know what they call it? Pound. How do you get from Libra to Pound? I don't know. But when you travel to USA, just be very, very careful. Now, have a look at this fruit shop here that we found in this amazing shopping center called The Grove. Now, when you look at those prices, you think, wow, it's the same price with Australia. $2.50 for a kilo of whatever, you know, maybe nectarines, that's a good price. But that's per Libra. Now, what is a Libra? <laughs> yes, one kilo has 2,200 Libras. So it's under half a kilo. So you are paying $2.50 American dollars, which is $5 Australian for less than half a kilo. So really, you are paying 10 Australian dollars. So be very, very careful. Don't think that what you see is what you pay in Australian dollars. Be very, very careful. That's very important. The best cheese from around the world, of course, will need the best wine from around the world. And yes, you guessed it. There's this wine shops and uh, alcohol shops in general. And um, I think you could just actually buy a bottle of whiskey for around about $20,000. And no, that's not the cheapest one. <laughs> There's a huge variety of great wines from around the world. Again, mostly France and USA. So the wines are amazing. The variety is great and you can get the best from around the world. But now have a look at this. You couldn't believe. Now, this is only happens in America. We just walked into this coffee shop that has some great recycled timber tables. And we wanted to do a story about the tables made out of recycled timbers. And then 
we see this. What is it? It's a lounge. And what people do in the lounge? What people do in the lounge? They sit down. <laughs> but this one here, they sit down and there is a difference. They have a cigar. It's a special shop, a special lounge in the middle of Beverly Hills that I can go there you can smoke your cigar. I don't know, I haven't seen it anywhere around the world, only in LA. We spoke to the guy that owns it and he's actually from Armenia and he spoke Greek to us. <laughs> and he told us about his private boxes. Yes, you can see now on your screens. Basically, Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Sylvester Stallone and Nicolas Cage and a lot of the famous people of Hollywood, they go there to smoke their cigar. For me, this is fascinating. I haven't seen it anywhere in the world. But guess what? From all the most beautiful cigars around the world, there's some that the Americans could not have. Doesn't matter how much money you have, you cannot have any cigars that made in Cuba. Like this one, for example. Yeah, that's a Cohiba. It's, and here in Corfu, in Greece, you can buy this packet for about 23 euros. Compared to Australia, where I think you pay about $120 for this packet. This is a club, right? But in America, they cannot have that. They cannot have the Monte Cristo, they cannot have the Romeo and Juliet and all the beautiful aromatic cigars that come from Cuba. They are not allowed to have them because of the sanctions. <laughs> so I think we are lucky here in Kofu that we can get this particular one. Around Beverly Hills there are many great shops like this furniture store for example, which is just a delight to go out there and spend your money. That's one thing for sure. The Americans know how to get the money out of your pocket. Or maybe your plastic money, doesn't matter. Still comes out of your account. Now, whenever you go, one of the greatest ways to see any city you're going to, it's this, <laughs> I don't know what would you call them, you call them convertible buses, but buses without roofs. They are incredible. We just use them in Los Angeles, in New York, and you can find them in Athens, in Corfu, everywhere you go. We just witnessed one going past, right through the arts over there. And it's the best way to see any city when you're going on your holidays. This monument behind me was built with Maltese stone. Can you just imagine back in those days, 200 years ago, they brought the Maltese stone from Malta with the ships, with the sails, all over, all the way to Corfu. Also, the building that we saw earlier on, it was built by Maltese stone and also by Maltese stone masons. They brought 80 families from Malta and they built that particular building, plus this one here and many other buildings around Corfu. But let's go back to LA, let's go back to Beverly Hills, my favorite place. Like I said, this is what you call extravaganza. You just love this place. Now, have a look at these pictures here. These are the cars that you just see when you're just around Beverly Hills and Rodeo Drive. Now, I just took a photo of that car, that white convertible Rolls Royce, and every photo I took it was a sports car behind it. That is Beverly Hills. You just love this place. Now, one thing that I like about the people in LA, but I think the Americans in general, they use a lot of new means of power. For example, there's a lot of electric cars. 
and there's recharging stations to charge your electric car. Isn't that great? I mean, that is America. You love it. You must go there. You will love it. The parking meters around Los Angeles are a little bit strange. They just, as you can see now, normally gray and black, but they are solar powered. Yes, the sun charges them and that's how they work. Another innovation, another great thing about them, LA, Los Angeles and America. But have a look at this one. Yes, this is painted yellow, the only yellow parking meter that I've seen everywhere in Los Angeles. And you know why? Because the guy that owns the parking meter also owns this Cornish convertible. Well, yes, they have the green man there, they're working, you know, like that. And then what they do have is a countdown. So from 20 seconds, you have 20 seconds to just cross the road. So you have to be very quick if you only have 10 seconds or 7 seconds. So you don't have to hurry, you don't have to kill yourself, you know you don't have enough time to go across the other side of the road. I mean, isn't that wonderful? Shouldn't we have that everywhere around the world? We should. One more thing that was also very strange to me was some of the signage. Now, look at this sign. What does it say? P-E-D-X-I-N-G, right? Bed, zinc, zinc, is it some sort of Chinese dynasty? But the thing is, you see it everywhere. It's painted down on the streets. Yep, you can see it now. Yep, that's right. It's up there on the traffic lights. So I was wondering for days, what does bed, zinc means? Well, what it means is bed for pedestrian and X, I, N, G, X is cross, in pedestrian crossing. What well, did you know that? <laughs> Come on, you know because I told you. Oh, you knew, oh, okay, that's all right. Now, one other thing that I love about the pedestrian crossings is this. Yes, so basically the guy that ordered that special model Cornish convertible from Rolls Royce, he said, I also want you to paint my parking meter the same color. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's incredible. They're amazing. Another thing I liked about the Americans is their imagination when it comes to decorating shops. Now have a look at this particular shop here in Beverly Hills. Look at the decoration of the facade. It's all covered with sewing machines from around the world. The biggest collection I ever seen. And when you walk inside the shop, have a look at this. Even just the furniture looks so wonderful, like this couch here, for example. And the general decoration of the store, which is just an industrial type of look. That's all we had for this episode. We're gonna bring in next week more stories from Los Angeles and also from Corfu. Thank you for watching. See you next week. <laughs>